is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today we have some details about the mdt hell's gate pay-per-view that is coming very soon guys i know i'm gonna get some people asking when is it where is it what is it all this stuff about the mdt pick fed about the pay-per-view hell's gate and guys you do know this this is how this is exactly how the pay-per-view calendar goes okay it goes pay-per-view show okay it goes pay-per-view show let's say uh let's just start with the royal rumble right we had the mdt royal rumble the the, the the show schedule from there will go Vindication, MDT Live, Vindication, MDT Live, Vindication, MDT Live, new pay-per-view. And you guys know the most recent show we posted was Vindication. So what does that mean? That means that there's one more MDT Live episode before we get to MDT Hell's Gate, which is our big Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. You guys know there are two Elimination Chambers taking place at the show. We have the MDT Live version and we have the Vindication version. One, sh one will obviously start the night and the other will main event the night. Not only this, we will have other matches on the card including both tag team titles being defended and some other matches that will be on this card. While the Vindication Elimination Chamber is completely full with Elite Champion Kenny Omega, Bray Wyatt, Aleister Black, Adam Cole, AJ Styles, and Shinsuke Nakamura, we are still awaiting our final competitor on MDT Live side who consists of right now the MDT Champion Roman Reigns, Velveteen Dream, Cedric Alexander, Chris Jericho, Jeff Hardy, and one more specific person, but we will have to see the go-home show of MDT Live episode number 15 before we find out who is going to fill that last spot. Now you guys know the Elimination Chamber is a big deal. They have six competitors in there four will be locked inside the pods and speaking of the pods guys i have one of the pods right here so come mdt hell's gate guys uh all the people are going to be locked inside these pods right here and uh, you guys can see right there, there it is in all its glory. There is one of the pods that will be, uh, you know, these guys will be locked inside. We don't really know, you know, the order of which they're going to come in. I guess it will be randomized. Maybe they'll have to draw some numbers out. We'll have to see how that goes as far as, you know, the entrants are concerned. But we will find all that stuff out. But I do have some other things to tell you guys about uh, leading up to MDT Hell's Gate. I have some new things to show you. And, uh, yeah, I have some questions to run by you guys as well because I want you to answer it and let me know your own feedback here. So. Let's go ahead and dive in, guys. So I guess the first thing we can get into is this right here, and it is the official MDT Hell's Gate ring skirt. Yes, ma'am, you guys can see right there, MDT Hell's Gate. You have the Hell's Gate graphic going all the way across. It ha It's beautiful, guys. It has the beautiful, you know, uh, the letters on there. It says MDT at the top. It's got Hell's Gate. You have all of your nice fire going through the Hell's Gate logo. Uh, you have some skulls and stuff going on through there, and another skull right there. I think there's like some hands burning and lava and stuff so it's like it's hell so it's it's very nice it fits with the whole theme of the pay-per-view you guys saw the stage before the stage is not completely you know done but we did take a nice detailed look at it and we're going to uh we're probably going to add a little bit to it as well so we only have the hell's gate uh ring skirt done and then the stage is obviously a work in progress and we're also working on that and then we have the mdt hell's gate ring ropes and i went with these orange ring ropes to match with the uh red slash orangish yellow of the hell's gate graphic on the ring skirt. Now I think this matches pretty well. I think this orange is really really nice. I like the saturation of it. I think that it could be a little bit darker maybe but I think I like it. I think once we put it on the ring and you guys can see I think the Hell's Gate logo is coming out a bit more dark than it actually is um, but it, I think it'll turn out well once we get it on the ring. Once we get on the ring we do the arena tour for MDT Hell's Gate and you guys know uh, after we post MDT Live 15 we will have a preview and prediction show where we run through the entire car breaking down the matchups. Uh, you guys will well, then after that video is posted or after MDT Live is posted and we, we do the full match card predictions and preview you guys will be able to upload your own predictions and I will I will watch every single one of the predictions videos from start to finish. I will comment on all of them and I will like them if you guys will uh, make your own predictions videos. Give me your analysis. Give me your predictions on everything but you can't make them until we get MDT Live 15 done so definitely stay tuned for that. That will be coming this week very soon and then you guys will be waiting for Hell's Gate and I know it's been a little bit, but we're going we're gonna to get it going, man. You guys know we always deliver on the pay-per-views, and it will be no different. So I want to know down below what you guys think of the ring ropes and what you think of the MDT Hell's Gate ring skirt. If you guys would like to pick up 
a custom ring skirt, you can go, I'll just put a link in the description. There's a link in the description. Uh, my boy Nate, he will hook you guys up and uh, there's a bunch of different sizes. He can make them for, I think, the main event ring and he can make them for the Jack's Real Scale ring. He can make it for, you know, uh, all kinds of different rings. So you guys will just have to check that out. And Nate is a good friend and he's a baller. So you guys definitely want to get in on that. But another thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is customs, okay? Customs for MDT Hell's Gate. Um, I wanted to know down in the comment section below, do you guys want to see the customs before the show or would you like it to be a surprise? I honestly wanted it to be a surprise. Like I have many things like a secret right now. I have, it sucks. I tweet about it all the time. There's so many things that I have to keep a secret from you guys because I want it to be a, a surprise and a shock. You know, that's one of the best things about wrestling, about the pick fed and stuff is that it's a shock value. It's the surprise. It's the storytelling. It's all of that good stuff. I want it to be a shock. I want you to be like, oh shit, that's fire. I want you to be like, oh damn, bro, that's so sick. I want you to genuinely to react to the show, the results, the matches, the spots, the whatever that happens on the shows. I want you guys to genuinely react to it. So that is why I keep so many things hidden from you as far as the pick fed is concerned. If you ask me any questions about the pick fed, I'm not going to tell you. Even if you say something random, if you're like, is Hardcore Holly going to show up? Who knows, Brad? Anything is possible. Anything is possible in the MDT pick fed, so anything could happen at any given moment. So any ideas that you guys have, I mean, it's possible. Anything's possible in the MDT pick fed. So that is something I wanted to run by you guys. And I, you guys know that, uh, what was it? The MDT Royal Rumble, plenty of people rock once in a lifetime attires. Like, they rock, the, you know, a tie, brand new attires that we haven't seen that you guys hadn't seen before. Kenny Omega rocked this blue attire before you guys even saw it completed. I know Jeff Hardy rocked the uh, the Punisher Royal Rumble attire, but you guys had already seen that. You just didn't know that I was going to use it in the Pick Fed show. We had plenty of surprises at the at the Royal Rumble, and so I want to keep the surprise factor and the shock factor coming, and you guys are definitely not going to want to miss Hell's Gate, and I know you guys will not. I know you guys will tune in. You always show up and show up for the pay-per-views, and uh, you guys will definitely let me know what you think. But I think I'm going to keep it a secret, but I do want you guys to know that, you know, we have some epic things in the works for MDT Hell's Gate as far as everything is concerned with everything. Like, you guys know that with the details of the pick fed, we always, you know, we think about it. We don't we don't let stones go unturned, man. We, we're going to think about everything and get it going. And I have a lot of great things to show you guys and it's going to be freaking epic sauce. But again, I definitely want to see your predictions, guys. I want to know your predictions. I want to know who you think is going to walk out of there with all the championships. I want you guys to make your predictions and I want to know. So, if you guys want to make an MDT Hell's Gate pay-per-view predictions and preview show. Again, I will upload that video. All you have to do is take a screenshot of the, you know, of the matches, or maybe you have your own figures that you'd like to stick in front of the camera. Uh, I, I, it doesn't matter to me, man. I'm going to watch them all the way through. I will comment. Um, you know, I will like the video, and I will possibly subscribe. So definitely, you know, check that out, and I will definitely uh, do that. So I, I would love to see all of you guys predict it, and that's one of my favorite things about the pick fed is when you guys are invested, and you, you know, you watch them, and you you, you like them and all that stuff. And I wish I had a full team, man. If I had a full team, again, I say this a lot, if I had a full team helping me work on it, then I, I would churn out a new one every single week and uh, it, it would be amazing. We'd be a lot more further into the pick fed than I would like. But anyways, guys, I would like to know down in the comment section below, which Elimination Chamber is going to be better? Do you think the MDT Live one is going to be better? Or do you think the Vindication one is going to be better? I would love to know all of that stuff down in the comment section below. Also, one spot remaining for MDT Live side, guys. One more spot remaining. Who is going to join these five other men inside the chamber. It's already stacked. I think both chambers look great. I think they're excellent. I cannot wait to see these guys go to war. Me and Brad are going to be right there on commentary. Brad will return to the commentary table for MDT Hell's Gate. You guys know that he has not been on an episode in a long time. I don't think he's been heard on commentary since the Royal Rumble, so it's going to be really epic to get him back, get our Flojo going, and uh, we're going to get in there, and we're going to come and take these matches, and I'm freaking hyped, man. I got the chamber wall set up back here, and uh, I'm still figuring out a way that I can rig up the chamber so that I can make the walls taller so that we can have you know a specific scale so that the guys can get on top of the pot or remove the roof and all that stuff. I'm still working on that as well, and uh, we have our rings skirt right here that's kicking chicken sandwich. Again, let me know what you think about that down below. Um, you know, I didn't really want to go with a black ring skirt because it's kind of, you know, it gets repetitive and boring a little bit, but, you know, it fits the theme. You know, it's Hell's Gate. It fits the Elimination Chamber, and you got the orange and the red and everything. Uh, we got the orange ring ropes and everything. And if you guys are wondering actually where I got the orange ring ropes, uh, go on eBay and just type in elastic cord and just type in the color you want, and you can find it. This is 1.8 millimeter. I would recommend 1.8 
8 to about 2.5 millimeter rope because you don't want it too thin or it'll be crappy and you don't want it too thick because then it'll be also crappy so that is just something you want to think about and I had to actually hand tie these and I'll probably snip off the excess I did want to test it before I snipped it because if I snip it and then you know I lose that little uh, that slack right there then uh, the ring will be all ruined and stuff and I don't want to have to order more elastic and delay the pay-per-view any more than you know we have to so I think that is about everything I wanted to cover in this video again I wanted to show the ring skirt I wanted to show you the ring ropes showed you the chamber pod we got the, all the lineups right here again uh, multiple matches still to be announced and once they are announced you know we do have the MDT tag titles that are also announced White Cole versus Young Bucks uh, Cody Rhodes is defending the Iron Man Championship versus Johnny Organo so that's already four matches uh, I think Jack Swagger may have some good stuff coming soon I think the final spot in this elimination chamber that will be on the line on MDT Live and that will probably be the main event so we have a stack card ready for MDT Live we have an epic show ready to get up to you guys and uh, we are on the way to My Damn Nation as well you know things heat up on the road to Wrestlemania so the things are going to heat up on the road to My Damn Nation as well but I think that's going to do it for today's video guys I hope you guys did enjoy if you missed our playset review and our action figure surgery from the last two days guys definitely go check that out I appreciate you guys with all of your help and feedback on all the videos you guys are absolute beasts Q&A answers also following they may be posted today and if I do that I'll probably just try to answer as many questions as possible while recording over my voice or something but we'll have to see thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my name toys and I will see you guys in the next video thank you